Hey everyone, it's Megan with Finding Signs by Megan. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do the most requested, most anticipated, most longest waited for tutorial yet, my leopard geode. And I am so sorry it took so long for me to get this out to you guys. I've recorded this video in the past month and a half, but I have not had the time to edit it, get it together and get it out to you guys. So I am sorry. I am very slow, but I finally got done with all of my custom orders, and now I can just focus on being a content creator for you guys and bringing out new designs and my way of doing things, because I like to do things the easiest way possible because I don't have a lot of time. So here we're going to jump into this tutorial. I am going to speed it up through some of these glitter lines, and I'm just going to focus on the beginning part of doing the leopard and I will let you guys know down in the description box every color that I used on here and where I got my color from and also where I got the vinyl from. You can change out your vinyl. You do not have to do leopard and make it your own. Do different colors. I've done so many different color patterns. If you guys would like to see all the color patterns that I've done, I can make a video and show you all of my different color geodes and all the colors and glitters that I used on each cup. But that's only if you guys want it. And um, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I really, really, really appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, y'all, let's get started. All right, y'all, I've already used this sheet, so we're just gonna be using it anyways. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna trim off any white backing that is on your sheet. Okay. And then you're going to make your mountain. And how you do your mountain is you're gonna start probably about three quarters of an inch in, and you're gonna start at your corner or wherever, and you're just going to start doing like a little mountain. That's how I refer to it as your little mountain. And then once you get however high you want it to be. Okay, so there's my little mountain. And then you're gonna go over about three quarters of an inch and you're just gonna start going back up beside it. And however much leopard you want, just make your mountain bigger. Okay, so there is your mountain. So this is going to be on your bottom area. Now, this is going to be your top area, um, but we don't need it that big. So we're gonna cut it down a little bit. And I just kinda guesstimate. And each geo you make is gonna be different, so. So there's my top piece that's gonna go up here. And don't throw this away, you're gonna need it. So set this to the side, okay? And we're going to take this top piece first, and you're gonna set your cup down. And see, I have accidentally scuffed it here, so I'm gonna put mine there to cover that up with my geo. So what I do is I put it where I want it to be, and you wanna make sure that it's overhanging a little bit right here. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure that there is some going on the bottom. And you're going to take your top piece, and I always just cut a tiny little bit off of that top. And I kind of figure out where I want it to be. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to lay that down, and I'm going to pull my vinyl okay so now you're probably like oh no I have this over piece that's fine you need that you want that so what you're gonna do is you're going to take your blade and I cut in the middle of that piece okay I lift it up now that I cut it and I take it and I literally smooth it over okay same thing with this one you're gonna do the same Thing. Just smooth it over. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing over here. Yep. You're going to push your finger, smooth it over, push your finger, and smooth it over. Okay, make sure that's down. Then remember I told you that piece you're going to set to the side? Well, now you're going to need it. 
Okay, so this is how we're gonna do our patch here. And I just grab a piece from there. I cut it off, I trim it down a little bit because we don't need it that wide. Okay, now you're gonna take your backing off of that and we're going to just patch it up right here on the bottom. You can trim off any excess. It don't really matter because you're gonna be covering up with glitter anyways, but if it makes you feel more comfortable, you can just trim off any of that excess. Okay, so now you have your patch done on your bottom. All right, now we're gonna roll up into the top portion. So what I do is I look and I see where my geode is on the flat back. So I literally just move it over here to the front. I'm just gonna set that there so it don't move. I know I need some tools, but you know what, I'm cheap. Okay, so we're gonna pull that together. And now we're going to grab our leopard piece. We're just going to Pull it, and I'm going to slice off the top. I'm gonna to see where I want it to be. And I always let it hang over a little bit. Get it to where you want. And then just pull it down. Okay. I just fold it over. Make sure there's no bubbles. Okay. And now we're going to trim off that. And then we're going to roll on to your glitter part. Okay, the glitters I use is Snowy Chunky Mix. It's a white and silver chunky, and it's from Artistry's Color Flex Glitter Line. I also use the Snowy Smaller Cut, um, also Color Flex. I use Color Flex's White Sands. It's a light gold. And then I use Queen Bling Glitter. It doesn't have a label on this one because I got to test it, um, but it's on the website now. And then Black Beauty from Diamonds and Dust, and Silver Bells from Peachy Olive. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you're going to get these adhesives. Um, they're three-in-one paints from Color Flex Line, so you have glue, primer, and paint all in one. And I get these little trays from the Dollar Tree, and I put all my glues in there, and then once they dry up, you just peel it right out. But this way, I can close it and save my paint longer if I don't end up using all of it. And I'm gonna use the black, the white, the light gray it's warm gray and then the gold is one that they sent me to try which is absolutely amazing um, i'm not sure if it's on the website yet i'll double check and list it down in the description if not just watch my tiktok i'll let you guys know when it becomes available so you can get you can get it too um why i love these so much these paints and doing your geos with them is literally you can just paint it all at once and glitter it all at the same time and not have to paint and then go get adhesive glue over that and you'll have full coverage okay so another thing if you do not have a color paint or they don't have a color paint that you need this is the best thing to do that i have learned over the past few months get their glitter glue mix a little bit up with the acrylic paint and you'll have your color that you need okay so now you're going to get your white adhesive paint because that's what I use on the bottom. And I'm gonna get this chunky snowy. So I like to do chunky in my beginning centerpiece of my geodes. Um, I want it to look dimensional, so I use a bunch of different sizes of glitter, but I always like chunky to be my middle piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of paint it rough. You don't want it to be like perfectly straight. Like some geodes you look at, they're not, they're like, more perfectly straight and you don't want that you want it to look rough and riggedy so i just get my paintbrush and i just dab how i want my lines to be i know it's hard to see because it's white um you'll see it better once i add the glitter but i just go a little bit rough and go in and out um that way it has some dimension and i'm going to do black on the outside so i want to leave enough of a gap for the black to be there 
and um, I just go all the way around and I apply it pretty thick because it is chunky glitter that I'm applying on there so I don't just do a little bit at a time I do a pretty thick and then once I do that I'll add the glitter and you're gonna want to make sure that you curve it onto the bottom because you want your bottom to be done too if you're doing your bottoms I always do my bottoms so I just curve it onto my bottom leave my gap for my black and then I'll apply the glitter. Now it's time to apply your glitter. Once you apply this chunky glitter onto your adhesive glue, you're going to wanna to make sure you pat it down really good um, because it is chunkier so when you go to sand it later it will help you not have to sand out your arm because your edges will be a little rough especially with the geodes because you're not just laying it on there with epoxy you're literally layering and layering and layering different glitter colors so just make sure you pat it down really good um, before it dries So while my white is drying, I'm going to go up to the top one and start my top one so they can dry at the same time. This will save you time in the long run instead of waiting for each color on the bottom to dry and then waiting each color on the top to dry. And make sure they're dry before you move on to your next colors that are around it so it will keep your colors clean. And I'm going to be using Queen Bling at the top. It's a sparkly black. And that's what I'm going to use to go around my top geode. Now this is going to be a little different because you're going around the vinyl now. And what you're going to want to do is get your black glitter adhesive glue paint, whatever you want to call it. And just tap it around your vinyl, however shape you want it to be. So you're going to want to go in, go out, kind of follow the pattern uh, how you cut out your vinyl. And just make sure that vinyl is covered all around and you can go in and out make it whatever shape um, at the top you can round it you can point it I always like to point mine but you don't have to and I just point it because everybody else does rounded ones and I decided to do more of pointed ones so I like to be different so anyways that's just what I do um, another thing when you are doing your vinyl and you're using the glitter around your vinyl make sure you don't do an extra fine cut make sure it's a little bit of a chunkier cut than an extra fine cut so it fully covers that line and it doesn't peek through at all okay i learned that over time of making 900 of these babies so make sure you do that then once you get this part of this geo done you're just going to set your cup to the side i let mine dry for about 15 minutes between each glitter. So I'll do these two glitters, let it dry 15 minutes, do the next two glitters, let it dry 15 minutes. If you're ever in a rush, you can use a blow dryer to dry your glitter. So that's also an option if you wanna rush it through. If not, just wait 15 minutes and you'll be ready for your next color. Um, if you need to, you could go back, patch up any little areas, add a little bit more shape anywhere, or if you like it how it is, just roll with it. Once those okay, sections that are dry that you just do, did, just you're go going to want to grab a brush and I brush off any excess glitter that is your on your color. cup. Make sure you do so this between each sure coat, that way your glitters won't get contaminated from ball and glitter or loose glitter. So I do this every time glitters, between each okay? coat. Um, if you do not have these artistry mats, they have Colorflex ones and artistry All ones. Right. So now your glitter just wipes right off. You can use it over and over again here. instead of using parchment paper or construction paper, whatever else you use. Okay, so now on to glittering. We are going to be doing black around the white. It's the same black that we just used, the Queen Bling glitter. Um, you're just going to do it a little bit different than you've done so far. So with this one, I always go into my white first or my chunky or whatever glitter that I use first. I'm going to go into it and make my line around how I want my glitter to be 
around the actual glitter part. Then I will go back and I will patch up and go into my vinyl. Now, yes, the black looks a little thick, that's fine. You want each line to be different sizes. So I chose to do a little bit thicker here. You can choose to do thinner, whatever way that you want it to be, just make your middle piece bigger if you want your black line to be thinner, or if you want it to be thicker, make your white smaller. So just whatever preference you want. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it the best I can. I'm not a really good teacher, so I'm trying. So just make sure you go back and just follow your lines of your vinyl. And then you can also go in and out more. Just make sure all the white from your cup is covered and you're gonna be just fine. And just do that all the way around. Okay, so now that you have your black down on the bottom, you're going to go in with Snowy, the Chunky Mix. It's the same one that you used on your bottom geode, and you're going to go around your black glitter. Now, I'm going to do my line thicker than my black, because in a geode, they're not all the same. So, some lines will be thicker, some lines will be thinner. So I'm going to make mine a little bit thicker and then I'm going to go in and out and it's not going to be exactly identical shape of the line before. You want each line to be different. So that's something to aim for when you're doing it. Try not to make them all the same size and you try to not want to keep, I know it's hard to not just make it look curvy. You want it to look ruggedy. So aim for that too and you'll be good. So just apply your paint on there pretty thick and then you're gonna go and glitter it and tap it down. And I always, when I do my geodes, I know it's funny, but I don't go all the way around and then apply my glitter. I apply halfway up. So once I get to the top, I will apply my glitter and then I'll go and I'll start the other side and do the other side. And then that way it helps the, the paint primer because it does take a little bit to do. It's not an, a fast process, so I don't want it, my paint and primer glue to completely dry. So I just apply a little bit, and then I apply my glitter, and then I go do the other and finish it off. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now that you got your glitter applied, go ahead and tap down your chunky with your finger, knock off any loose glitter, and then you're gonna let it sit to the side for 15 minutes and let it dry before you move on to your next glitter. Okay, now it's time for your next glitter on the bottom around your leopard print. I'm going to be going in with the gold glitter adhesive paint, um, and I'm gonna be applying white sands gold glitter from the color flex line and you're going to do this just like you've done your other ones you know make sure you're going in and covering up your vinyl and make sure your different shapes different sizes you know going in and out different all of that so you're going to apply it just like you did your previous lines i'm not going to show you the whole video in, in regular time I'm going to speed it up because my video will end up being so long and I don't want that. Um, but I hope you get the drift of what I'm doing. So just make sure you just go in, go out, cover up your line. And remember when you're doing the vinyl, when you're going around the vinyl, only the vinyl, make sure you're not using an extra fine glitter. You do want it to be a little bit thicker. Um, not super chunky, nothing like that, unless you want it to be. It totally can be, um, but don't do the extra fine because you will be able to see your line when you go to epoxy and you don't want that. So that's just a tip um, when you're doing your lines around the vinyl.
Okay, so when you're done glittering your bottom with white sands, don't put the glitter up. You're going to actually use it to go around your snowy chunky glitter that you applied to the top. Um, and then do it just like you've done the other ones. Make it different. Make it in and out, different size, thicker, thinner. So just apply it just like you've done the other ones to your top. And then once that's done and you get that, that side done, go ahead, set it aside for 15 minutes and let it dry before you go in and move on to your next color around your bottom and top. Okay, so the next color you're going to do is white. You're gonna use the snowy small cut from the Color Flex line. Um, and you're gonna apply it just like you did the other ones. Make it different, you know, width, go in, go out, make it different. And I think you're pretty much getting the drift for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. Um, but that's what I do next on this one. And then we'll go up to the top and work on the top one. Okay, for your next glitter on top, I'm going to be using Black Beauty from Diamonds and Dust. I love this one because it's not a super thin cut and it's not super thick, so it, it's a perfect cut that gives it dimension. I like my geodes to have dimension because rock, the geode rocks are all different dimensions. So this is the color that I use. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. And um, just do it just like you've done the other ones. Okay, I'm not going to explain all that. You've already know. Just do it like you did the other ones. Okay, for the next color beside the gold, you're going to go in with the snowy small cut. And you're just going to do it exactly like you've done the other ones. You can make it thicker, thinner, however you want it. You need to overlap it a little bit onto the gold if you need to to make it kind of rugged. That's fine. And just do it how you want to do it. Okay, for your next glitter on top, you're going to go in with Black Beauty from Diamonds and Dust. You're going to add it right beside the gold at top and do it just like you've done the other ones. And then once you're done with that, let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes, however long, until it's completely dry. And then we'll go, go on to the next color on the bottom and then we're going to end up finishing up the top geode with the next glitter. Okay, for your next glitter on the bottom, you're going to go in with um, Black Beauty, the one you just used on top. You're going to go in with that one again uh, beside your white. And yes, I do use two different color blacks. That way it kind of gives it dimension. It's not all the same. You can use the same color blacks if you want. I choose to do different color shades on any color that I'm using. I don't like to use the same color twice as in in the same geode formation do this line just like you did the other ones and once it's done we're going to go up to the top geode and we're going to finish it
Okay, so the next glitter you're going to use is Silver Bells from Peachy Olive Glitters. And this is actually going to be the color that you're going to finish up this top portion. And when you're done with this top portion, you're actually going to go down to your bottom geode and do the same thing to it. You're going to finish up that bottom geode with this Silver Bells. Um, the Silver Bells is like a silver gold. And so I used it because I thought that it'd be like a great finish for it. And it ended up being perfect. Um, and with this line, you're going to actually do this line a little bit thinner than you do the other lines. And once I add on the glitter, you'll be able to see better exactly how thin that line is. I like to do mine kind of a little bit more rugged. So I take my time and I just dab, 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 and then give it a little bit of definition into your black. Make it a little bit ruggedy through there um, just because it's the last line. Then once you're done with this line on the top go ahead set your tumbler to the side for 15 minutes let it dry completely and then you'll go down and add that same color around your black down at your edge and finish that one up Okay, now for your white, you're going to get this glitter glue from Artistry Epoxy or Colorflex, whatever. You can do it from the Colorflex website or the Artistry website. This is like a super, super, super must um, because it, it gives you a longer work time. Mod Podge does not give you very long, and I know because I used to use it. And when I would do a section, by the time I was done, it'd be dry, and then I'd have to go back and do patch-up work. But this glitter glue does not dry as fast. So I can get half of the cup um, painted down with the glitter glue, and then put the paint on, and it, it won't dry up on me. So go around very carefully around the edges of your geode areas, and then you're going to add abdominal... I think is how you say it. I don't know. I'll list it down in the description box. Um, abominal. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I'll list it in the description. And you're going, and it's from Diamonds and Dust, and you're going to add that onto your white area. And it's like a pretty pearl. And I sometimes switch between abdominal and um, snowy, depending on which geo that I'm doing. Um, this one, I like the pearl one, but when I do funny or funner colors or other ones, I'll do the snowy. It's just whatever your choice is. I just love both of them, so I just switch between each color geo that I do. And just be super careful and add it in, and you'll be good. Okay, so once you get done glittering, okay, when you get done glittering the whole cup, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes, just like you did your geode areas. Then you're going to get your triple thick glaze and you're going to seal your whole cup twice. This is very important. And I know it might be sound like over sealing, but I promise you it'll make your cup look so much prettier when it's all done because you won't have any color shifting when you go to epoxy. And that's how I keep my glitters very, very perfect in between each one and on my white. So make sure you do that. Then once you've done sealing it and you let it sit for about an hour after you seal it, you're going to, I use Artistry Fast Set Epoxy. It's my preferred epoxy and I will do a coat of it. And then in 45 minutes, I'm going to go in and I'm going to coat it again with the Artistry Epoxy. I do 20 milliliters on the first coat and then I do about 15 on my second coat. 
And then about three hours later, it's going to be dry and I will sand the cup really good. Make sure I sand around the bottom edges. And then I'm going to epoxy about 15 milliliters on a 20 ounce one more time. And then once you're done with that on your third, after your third coat, you're going to do your paint lines. And I always do three coats because with it being a geode, it kind of gets a little rugged with the chunkies and other glitters. Well, y'all, um, if this cup looks different from the one we just glittered, it is. My daughter deleted my whole glitter tutorial except the paint lines off of my iPad. So I had to actually go back and re-glitter a whole new tumbler just to show you guys how to glitter it. So this is different, um, but pretty much it's the same thing. The only thing that's different is the after the leopard, it's gold, black, white, and silver. Um, but on the one that we glittered is the main way that I do it, and it is gold, white, black, and then silver. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this 18 karat um, ink pen, paint pen from Hobby Lobby. It's in the paint acrylic paint section. And I just very ruggedly, I shake really bad anyways, but I kind of shake my paint line around my geo to make it look rough. And you're gonna do the gold around the white and the black. And then you're also gonna go up there and you're gonna do gold around the black and silver even though it's not showing that on here. That's how I do it on my original one, and I'll post the original photo in my tab so you'll be able to see it. Then once you're done with the gold, you're going to go in with the black around the leopard print and the gold. Okay, so I add my black there, and then I would add the gold between the black and the silver. So I hope that helps you guys. And then once this is dry, you don't have to seal it, but this is when I would put a decal on if somebody wants their name. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to epoxy it. Okay, so now it's time to epoxy. So I'm going to make 15 mLs of epoxy for 20 ounce, and I do 20, ounce, 20 mLs for a 30 ounce. And I'm just going to use my Facet epoxy from Artistry. It's my preferred epoxy. I'm always making a ton of cups, so I like my stuff to cure really fast, and this cures to the touch in two hours. It has very minimal bubbles and no smell. And I had lung cancer, so smell is really huge to me. I can't deal with the smell even if I'm wearing my mask. So I prefer this facet. And then I'm just going to mix it. I mix it slow. And then the facet's going to give you about 10 minutes of work time. And um, then we're going to go apply it on the cup. And I will apply one coat. But if there is still, if I can still feel some of the chunky at the bottom edge, I'll sand it down, clean it again, and then I will apply another coat of epoxy. And here I am just applying my epoxy after I put the name on the cup and I'm going to let it cure for two hours, check it, see if it needs to be sanded again and then I'll add another coat if it needs to be sanded and it'll be done after that. I try not to do more than five coats because I don't want it to be too thick and heavy um, but usually it needs about four to five coats with the fast set. The fast set thick is a little bit thicker which is why I love it so much. And it really helps seal in everything so you don't feel anything. But anyways, you guys, that is the tutorial. I hope you guys loved it as much as me. This is my 
best-selling tumbler. I have sold probably close to a thousand of them um, since November of last year when I first made it. Um, if you have any questions at all, just le list them down in the comment section. I will have all of the products that I used in this tutorial in the description box with a few discount codes for the glitters, the vinyl, and the epoxy. And um, if you guys make any, tag me on TikTok or Facebook. I'd love to see it. Y'all have a good one. Bye, everyone, and thank you.